Recently Hades title was released which packs the story of Zagreus, son of Hades, trying to escape his parents' house in a hilarious yet brutal setting of roguelike action RPG. In this video, I will give my first impressions of the game and whether it's worth trying and moreover worth buying and worth your cents, dollars, dimes, quarters, whatever. So let's go! First of all, a short disclaimer, I am definitely not a master of roguelike games, neither am I a huge fan of this. I would try to avoid any spoilers of the gameplay and I am not that far into the game myself, which is why the video is called First Impressions, you know. And that's absolutely my personal subjective opinion on the game and on the gameplay. So Hades is about main hero. Zagreus trying to flee from his father's Hades realm to get to his Olympian's friends, I suppose, as they are definitely trying to help him to throw some party or whatever he's trying to achieve, I don't know. As you might have already guessed, Hades takes place in a Greek mythology setting and this surely shapes the way the visual side of the game is presented to the player. Speaking about the visuals, the graphics of the Hades are definitely not the most important part in the technical sense of the game. Graphical options and limited latest GPUs will not be utilized for 100% and that is absolutely fine. The main thing about visual side of the game is the artwork and the way it complements the gameplay. And man, has the studio made a magnificent work here. Even though there are no super duper fancy schmancy shaders and stuff in the game, still it is perceived as an absolute eye candy when you are in the middle of the process. For me personally, the cartoonish style of some enemies and their animations felt out of place sometimes compared to the brutal gore effects of say main here death animations. However, I do understand that it is absolutely personal. All in all, I would rate graphics at 7 out of 10 points, though this game is definitely not about graphics. Moving on to the audio side of the title, everything is just in place. Voice acting is great, however, I felt confused at how similar to Borderlands 2 Claptrap the voice of the Hypnos sounds. The background music feels just in place and helps in pumping up the adrenaline during fights, uh, with creating the soothing feeling in between those. The fighting sounds are just the final piece of the puzzle here and they definitely assist in creating the mood and the feel required while you slash things. I would rate audio side of the game as 8 out of 10 points. Everything is great and in place, serves its purpose, but not to the level of 10 out of 10 masterpiece. Ah, the gameplay. That is what this title is about. As roguelike genre implies, you are trying to reach your goal, which is living Hades realm again and again. The difficulty is adjusted in such a way that you are guaranteed to die a lot, and that is the healthy part of the process. Deaths, especially first encounters with mech, provide you with great balance of enrages. Ay, 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 ay. Ouch. Fuck you, Magera. And on the other hand, motivation to improve with further sense of achievement and progress. Whoa, finally. The formula is repeated then. You are provided with a set of tools aimed mainly at slaughtering everything inside, though those tools are to be unlocked too as you move on. Every weapon has several attack types, regular attacks, special one, dash connected types of attacks. And also you have a cast type attack, which is not connected to the type of the weapon you are wearing. In order to progress, you are getting temporary boosts, which are applied to the current run only, lots of those. The perks are themed with different Olympian gods and those themes shape your playstyle a lot. For example, Dionysus gives your attacks dot hangover effect, while Aphrodite gives your attacks a debuff which weakens the enemies. 
In addition to the temporary perks, you have permanent improvements which you get from the Mirror of the Night. Those two can be adjusted to shape the playstyle. I like that these permanent upgrades are more influential than say in the Death Souls title, at least in the beginning. This adds to that RPG aspect and feel of the game. All combined those different options allow a huge amount of combinations, ranging from, depending on your personal playstyle and likes, cringe ones making you wish to give up straight away, to some mind-blowing combinations that make you feel godly overpowered, at least for a couple of encounters. Oh, and nearly forgot, there are also items provided by NPCs as you improve their attitude to you. They are permanent and can be ranked up. There are also buildings and furniture improvements, both functional and cosmetic ones. All in all, the game keeps you busy gathering resources and improving both short-term and long-term. Each run is fresh with huge amount of combinations and you always have the feeling of gradual improvement as you move on. Comparing Hades to Dead Souls again, the urge to do just one more run is much stronger for me, mostly due to high grade of feeling of progression. I would definitely rate gameplay as 10 out of 10, the game scratches the itch the right way in the right time and that is great. Last but not least goes the story and the narrative of the game. The story is told mostly in small bits in form of dialogues with the NPC characters. Even though those dialogues are hilarious, there are some plot twists and in general you start following it and wondering what will happen next. Still, the storyline in the game is supposed to be the secondary complementary driver to the action and that is exactly how it feels. I would rate story and storytelling at 7 out of 10. It is hilariously on point for the genre but surely is sort of lacking as however it should be. To sum things up and conclude this first impressions review, I would rate Hades the following way. Graphics being 7 out of 10, audio 8 out of 10, gameplay 10 out of 10, and story and storytelling 7 out of 10. This course would total up to 8 points in total out of 10 maximum ones, however I've put them comparing Hades to all gaming industry titles I've ever played on Ono. If we look at Hades more narrowly in accordance with the genre and adjusting expectations accordingly, I would definitely rate it in the following way. Putting the graphics at 9, audio at 9, gameplay at 10 and story and storytelling at 10 resulting in 9.5 points out of 10. If to look at Hades narrowly as representative of just the roguelike genre. My advice if you are wondering whether Hades is worth it, definitely go for it, worth every penny. And actually the price is definitely reasonable for the title of such quality. Thanks for watching. If you like content feel free to subscribe, follow me on Twitch and Twitter and hop in on the journey through this title and many others. Goodbye.